What is good, man? It's your boy, Nicholas Shave, man. We are back again today with another shave video, man. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for checking out the video. If you haven't yet subscribed, man, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And also, if you're liking the video, I know you haven't watched it yet, but if you're liking the videos, if you're liking the wave, man, definitely hit that like button, man. It helps me out a lot to let me know you guys are enjoying the video. So today, as you guys can see, like I said, another shave video, but I'm sort of taking it back to my roots this time. Um, I'm not using a shave soap today. I'm actually using a shave cream, and the shave cream that actually is from Viking Revolution. I don't know if you guys have heard of them. Maybe some of you guys are familiar with them, maybe not, but uh, this is how it looks. Very nice, sleek bottle itself. It kind of already comes pretty lather. It doesn't really, I mean it has a scent to it, but it doesn't really have a scent to it. Kind of just smells like just regular shaving cream, but that's what I am going to be using today. I kind of wanted to try out the difference between a soap and a cream, which I'm usually using a cream, but now that I'm kind of on a new wave, I'm using uh, more shave soap. So I got a few more shave soaps that I want to get out to you guys, but of course this is a, a um, this is probably about four or five days of growth actually for my beard. I'm, I'm usually I usually shave on Tuesdays, but I didn't, didn't get the chance to shave on Tuesday, so I'm shaving today, which is Wednesday, and I wanted to make sure I, um, I got you guys a video, man. So, of course, y'all know I'm using the Belva Razor. Y'all already know your boy is using the Belva Razor. Until I find something different, I am rocking with my boy Tristan off top, Belva Razor off top. Now, I will be trying a few different razors out, but y'all got to let me know some razors. Some safety razors. I'm gonna get to the straight razor eventually. The actual razor razor that we're using is the Gillette Nasset. There we go. The Gillette Nasset stainless. This is the actual box that it comes in. So actually a cool, you know what I'm saying, design on the box, but y'all already know your boy's using the Belva razor at all times. So and also we have the um Sandalwood Vikings Revolution um aftershave bomb. Now I haven't even opened this box, but this is pretty much what the box itself looks like. I think the price point between this, I think I spent maybe $20 on both of these combined. I think the um, the aftershave was maybe $10, the shave cream was like maybe $7 or vice versa, something like that. But this is the actual bottle itself. Nice looking bottle and it's actually, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's actually like a, um, it's like a very solid bottle. It's not like a bottle you can squeeze but if you guys are familiar with this brand definitely let me know how y'all feel about this actual shaving cream of course i got my shave brush here ready for the shave like i said this is a few days i'm ready to go ahead and um kind of start lathering up i'm going to use my brushes because i like how the brush feels on my face but with shaving cream i mean you can pretty much just apply it to your face however you want or you can use your brush it really doesn't matter it's just you know it's already it's just pretty much just the cream so i'm gonna uh, go ahead and apply it to my face also i want to say I did use the Bevel Priming Oil as well. If you guys are not up on that Priming Oil, man, that is an investment that you need to get. If you have not, if you don't have, you don't have, to, you don't even have to get the Bevel Priming Oil. I just recommend the Bevel Priming Oil. But I'm telling you, if you have any other type of pre-shave that you can use, man, it really, really softens up the skin and it really helps helps out. I'm, I'm telling you guys. So it looks really, really nice. Actually, now let me know what y'all think. You know. Um, it doesn't really have too much of a smell to it, like I said, but yeah, so I'm going to have whip my face before I lather it up. And let's see what it, what it feels like. It's really, really thick, actually. I don't know if that's because it's a shave cream, but it feels really, really thick, like on my brush. <laughs> it feels kind of like I'm painting a little bit. <laughs> Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and see what's up with it.
that pretty much is the shade itself. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling, what y'all think about the shaving cream. A very, very different shaving cream, man. Very, very different. It's a very, very um, sticky consistency, man. I don't know if y'all could see it like while, while I was shaving with it on my face, but it really kind of stuck to my face. Um, even though I did soak my brush for a few seconds, I, um, maybe if you soak your brush for a little bit minute, it'll, it'll kind of not be as sticky and thick on the brush or maybe if you have another brush with um, a different type of texture but for me it was very very sticky but um, as for the Vikings Revolution you know I mean it's okay I will say if I had to rate it out of 10 I would give it I'll put it like right at a 6 or a 7 you know something I think they can improve is just to to not make it as um, I guess not to make it as sticky I guess you can kind of do it you know if you lather um, with it you know and kind of mess around with it with your brush and, and have water and the whole thing together but I would like to see it come out more um, sort of as a cream foamy consistency or if you could get it to that type of way you know of course we can always work with them and you know see what happens but uh, very impressed with the Gillette Nasty, um razor blades I'm always impressed with Gillette. Gillette always does their thing. So y'all let me know some Gillette products that I need to try. But you know, I think I, I think I did pretty good as far as the shave itself, man. I only had a few irritation marks over here, um, but that's sort of normal. My ir my main irritation area is right over here, so I usually get irritated regardless. But I actually only bled just a tad bit, so um, you know that's good as well. Um, depending on, I love aftershaves. I love the feeling of aftershaves and. You gonna see how this thing holds up now. I'm trying to squeeze a little bit out. All you gotta do is kind of do like that, and it'll come right out. I'm not gonna get a whole lot of rub it in my hands, and I'm gonna see how this joint feel. It don't have the best smell to it. Like I said, it is sandalwood, but mm. I'm seeing this kind of a a trend with Vikings stuff, man. It's not really. It's kind of like a lot of their stuff is real sticky. That's the only thing. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see it on my face. If you guys have ever used this, if you guys like this, man, let me know in the comment section um, because, you know, it's okay. The shave, the aftershave, you know, it's okay. Um, you know, if you want to try it out, maybe I'll give it away so you guys can try it. Um, let me know if you guys want to try it and maybe I'll give it away to one of you guys. But uh, y'all let me know how the shave is, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling about the shave let me know how your boy did make sure y'all go cop that bevel razor if you don't have a bevel razor what are you doing you're not even shaving i promise you you're not shaving so um if you guys want to know some more information about them don't hesitate to hit me up on my instagram nick shave also follow me on my instagram nick shave that's where i post everything before i actually post the videos uh pictures and everything as well i appreciate each and every one of you guys for checking in with your boy and until next time Peace.